Black Myth Wukong, a game that's taken the world by storm with no signs of slowing down. In just two days, it had sold a staggering 8.4 million units on Steam, peaking at nearly 2.5 million players in its first week of release. An incredible achievement for a single player game. But let's get to the heart of it. In this epic adventure, you step into the role of Wukong, hailing from the magical forests of Ionia. Wait, that's the wrong monkey. Uh, let, me, let me try again. Black Myth Wukong, a game where you play as the god Sun Wukong and battle gods from different religions. Wait, no, wait, that doesn't sound right. L let me let me check my notes. I knew I shouldn't have winged this. Where, where the hell are my Wukong notes? Ah, I see where I've gone wrong. Okay, okay, let's do this properly. Black Myth Wukong, inspired by the legendary Chinese novel Journey to the West, you become the destined one, the iconic monkey hero. From jaw-dropping visuals to heart-pounding gameplay, this is one journey you won't want to miss. So grab your staff, unleash your inner monkey king, and let's dive into this legendary adventure together. Our tale begins with Sun Wukong ultimately earning Buddhahood and a place in the Celestial Court. However, Wukong rejects life in the Celestial Court, preferring the peace of the mountains. Enraged by his disobedience, the Celestial Court dispatches an army led by Erlong Shen to force Wukong back. The two engage in an epic battle that ends with Wukong's defeat. Erlong Shen incapacitates Wukong by binding him with a circlet and sealing him in stone. But before being fully sealed, Wukong scatters his power into six relics, each tied to one of his six senses, which are hidden across China. Centuries pass and the monkeys of Mount Hugyeo send out warriors in search of these relics to revive Sun Wukong. Here, our protagonist, known as the Destined One, begins his quest to find the relics. The Destined One's journey starts at the ruins of Guayin Temple, where he comes face to face with Black Bear Guai. The two fight, and after defeating Guai, it is revealed that he was forced by the Celestial Court to fight him. It is here that the Destined One claims the first relic, Wukong's Eyes. With the eyes in hand, the Destined One ventures to Yellow Wind Ridge, where he is forced to battle the Yellow Wind Sage. Managing to defeat the Sage, he recovers the severed head of Bodhisattva Lingji. In gratitude, Lingji gives him the second relic, Wukong's Ears. Following his initial success, the Destined One journeys into the mountains, where he frees Jubaje and confronts Yellowbrow, who possesses the third relic, Wukong's Nose. After another victory, the Destined One now in possession of half the relics, heads to the Spider Demon's Lair in search of the fourth. Barjay is captured by the Violet Spider Matriarch, and after a challenging battle, the Violet Spider is defeated and the destined one acquires Wukong's tongue, the fourth relic. The quest continues to the Forest of Embers, where the destined one encounters Red Boy trying to steal the fifth relic from the Bull Demon King. Red Boy consumes the relic, and a fierce fight ensues, ending with Red Boy's suicide to avoid the humiliation of defeat, leaving Wukong's body, the fifth relic, in the hands of the destined one. With five relics in his possession, the Destined One and Barje return to Mount Hugyeo to find the final relic. Along the way, they recover Sun Wukong's old cloud, weapon, and armor before reaching the summit. There, it is revealed that the Destined One himself is the sixth relic, Wukong's mind. His true destiny is not to revive Wukong, but to inherit his legacy and become his new incarnation. To achieve this, the Destined One must defeat the mindless stone body of Wukong. However, this is where our story and the fate of the Destined One finds itself branching. In one ending, the Destined One fails to inherit Wukong's legacy, is forced to wear the binding circlet, and becomes trapped in the stone, waiting for a new Destined One to begin the cycle anew. In the alternate ending, if the Destined One has defeated Erlang Shen earlier, he successfully inherits Wukong's memories and refuses the circlet, breaking the cycle 
and achieving reincarnation. So, to summarize, I had to play League of Legends to make this video. Fuck my life.